Hello to everybody on the free list. Just a quick reminder that if anyone signs up for the newsletter in the month of October, all of the income that I would have gotten from you in October, November, and December is all going to hurricane relief. So go ahead and join us on Patreon. You don't simply get the current newsletters, which this week are on the Chinese economic breakdown and the next war in the Middle East. You will also be getting access to the discussion forum, a chance to grill me personally, as well as any number of opportunities to see what is going on in the world on a day-by-day basis. Hope to see you soon. Everybody, Peter Zion here coming to you from D.C. in the National Mall. And today we're going to talk about a little bit of hurricane damage that you probably were unaware of. Uh, Specifically, the town of Spruce Pine, a town of like 2,300 people in western North Carolina. And the issue is that this is a town that produces sand. Uh, (laughs) So roughly 150 million years ago, as Southerners tell time, uh, there was a series of non-volcanic intrusions into the area that is now part of the Appalachians. And we got all of these field spar quartz and mica deposits. And until recently, the field spar is what everybody was after. So you've heard of Pyrex. Uh, field spar is used in the high quality glass that they produce. But the rest of it, especially the quartz, was basically just used as like concrete aggregate and construction and local road production. Nothing special. Then the semiconductor sector took off. Wow, it's getting really windy. Moved behind some of the uh, construction equipment that is everywhere in D.C. right now. Anyway, uh, then the semiconductor industry got started, and semiconductor is made primarily of silicon, and silicon is basically just processed quartz. And what they discovered was that the type of quartz that exists in the spruce pines mines uh, was so pure that it could be melted into something called a crucible, which is basically a little bowl. And the crucibles then could be used to melt other lesser quality silicon. You have to do the melting in a very, 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 very high quality uh, crucible. Otherwise, the crucible will introduce flaws and other materials into your silicon, and then you don't get the electrical properties you are after. And the sand that comes out of the spruce pines mine is so pure that it is used for 70 to 90 percent of global crucibles to make the semiconductors. They also use the other silicon they have there as well, and it's also very good for that, but it's the crucible quality silicon that you're really after. Anywho, um, two companies control this space. They're not very chatty when it comes to the details. About 70% of the labor force in Spruce Pines, you know, population 2300, works in the mines, and the uh, the miners are, well, they got two feet of rain dropped on them, did a significant amount of damage to the mines, although the miners are not telling us what, and they're focusing on helping the people recover, and the people can't recover because the city is cut off. Uh, There is one road out of the mine, it's been largely destroyed, and it's going to be at least a month, probably closer to two, before we have some idea of whether or not it can be repaired to a level that allows equipment to come in to, say, pump the water out of the mines. And this is not a priority for things like FEMA, because Asheville, population 100,000, is also cut off, and it's on the interstate, so everyone's going to focus on that first. So we've got quite a while before we know whether or not the mine has been damaged sufficiently to imperil long-term production of this very specific type of quartz silicon. As to everybody else, uh, most of the folks that make these things, most of the semiconductor fabs who use this stuff, and most of the purification facilities probably have about three months of reserves to use, so there's no immediate disruption from supply. But we're going to have to wait one to two months before we find out if this temporary interruption is something more significant. And if it is, then all bets are off, because this is where we get almost all of it again. While you can make a crucible out of lesser silicon, that lesser silicon will then contaminate whatever it is you're trying to smelt, which means that high-grade semiconductor quality silicon will not be available in sufficient quantities to do more than a third of what we currently expect our semiconductor industry to create. That could be a very big deal. We won't know for a couple months.